This is a stepper, it's a cardiovascular machine challenging the cardiovascular system. So the heart and the lungs, increasing the strength of the heart and the capacity of the lungs so we can get more oxygen to working muscles when we're working harder and put, placing more demands on the body. Now, a couple of checkpoints. We want to see Stuart in this good position. So he puts his whole foot onto the step, still facing forward, knees over the second toe, and then we can get onto the second one. Steppers are uncommonly used in a terrible way. So today we're going to show you the right way to use this. Now let's have a look what's going on. Knees are over the second toe, the feet are facing forward. Now if you have a look, Stuart's got a really good step going through now. He's got full range of movement. Brilliant. So we've got good flexion and extension through the knee, good flexion and extension to the hips through here. Nice parallel uh, hips, neutral spine, ears in line with the shoulders, core's drawn in. Now, we've got the hands on, but if we have a look, he's actually just not even gripping it. He's just hands are placed on the, on the, on the uh, handles there. The reason for this is we want to make sure that the legs are actually doing some work. We can increase the intensity even without touching the screen by taking the hands off making them move in that contralateral movement. Now, common mistakes, you will see them absolutely everywhere. You will see members hanging on to the top of the, the stepper. They will literally hold body weight on, and if you have a look at the legs, they're doing no work whatsoever because all the weight is braced up here. The legs, you may as well lay in the air and cycle your legs around. You may also see the hands on the sides where they're pushed into this dip position, bracing the whole body weight through the upper body, and again, there's nothing for the legs to do. You may as well lay on the floor and just push through the air. Good form should look like this. Nice, good steps, good core drawn in, hands moving at that contralateral rotation. The whole body's having to work. And we've actually increased the intensity without even touching the panel. That's really good, fantastic. Again, teaching point, if I wanted to talk to Stuart, I'd talk to him face on to here, and then I could step off to 45 degrees. The reason I want to do that is if I talk to Stuart from here, he's going to have to look at me. That means he's going to have to turn his head, more than likely his body. He's going to lose this alignment. And because of the nature of the exercise, we may even find that his knees go with him. This could be quite dangerous. So we talk from the front position where he can maintain neutral spine. We can have good eye contact. I can step off to 45 degrees where we can still continue a conversation, but it's non-intrusive and it means there's no deviations through his body alignment. Brilliant, just relax there. That's the stepper.